Hey everyone, so I'm a martial artist, which means I practice things like Muay Thai, Wing Chun, Kali, Jiu Jitsu, but what does this have to do with Blender 2.83? Well, lots of martial artists have something called a heavy bag, it's something you can kick, punch, release your energy on, and uh, I just happen to have one of those too. Here's a video of mine, and you'll see inside the heavy bag there's some ripples and some effects that I just couldn't achieve in Blender before this update. So when I actually saw that people were using the cloth brush in Blender, I was like, whoa, that's really cool. So I explored a little and I figured it out and now I'm bringing it to you guys so you guys can create ripples like this heavy bag or make things look like cloth or even even like, I don't, I don't know, maybe a blanket on a bed. So let's get started. Oh, and by the way, I got a new gimbal, so expect more visual effects videos, and that's my dad. Now, there are a few settings that can be used with this brush. Drag, push, pinch point, pinch perpendicular, inflate, grab, and expand. Let's give you an example as to which settings do what and how to use them. First, drag. Drag is exactly what you think it does. It drags the cloth as if you were to take your finger and drag it across the cloth. The video here is me dragging my finger across various cloths, and here is a video of me using the drag tool in Blender. Pretty simple. Next is push. Now push takes your mesh and pushes it down as if there is nothing behind your mesh. No matter which side of the mesh you are on, the push mode always moves the mesh towards the opposite direction of the current view. So this basically means it just pushes it away from you. Pinch point. Now pinch point allows the user to create a pinching effect where the mesh is attracted to a central point where the user puts the cursor. This can be good for adding some extra detail that the push and drag mode simply have a hard time doing. Next is Pinch Perpendicular. Now, Pinch Perpendicular allows the user to effectively create a pinching effect spanning across the mesh through the use of dragging the cursor. Instead of focusing on one point, the user can create valley-like pinches that replicate waves in cloth. Inflate. Inflate is a mode that has the same effect as a separate brush in Blender sculpting, however, the inflate mode inside the cloth brush understands how the cloth works as if it were to be inflated. Think of this tool as a reverse push tool, and it applies the same effect but in reverse because it goes towards the camera. Grab. Now, grab is another tool that is located in Blender completely independent from the cloth brush. Grab is a mode in the cloth brush similar to the inflate mode. The cloth grab mode factors how the cloth would react when grabbed and adds wrinkles and deformations when needed, different from the grab tool itself. Expand. Expand takes the mesh and stretches it out, emphasizing all the wrinkles in the mesh along with revealing some wrinkles in the mesh that may have not been there to begin with. This tool can be good for adding some extra detail if you need it or just emphasizing detail. Now I was going to do a whole scene where I set up the cylinder and added the wrinkles and everything like that, but um, I just I, I didn't think that was a good idea because that part was honestly the most boring part of the whole video. So I'm just going to leave a download link in the description and encourage you to download Blender 2.83 LTS, which has all these new features that I was talking about. Now there is a few more features that I want to talk about, one of them being the adaptive sampling. Now that video is going to come soon, however I encourage you to download Blender 2.83 LTS and uh, put a comment in the description below as not in the description the comment section silly and put a comment down there telling me how you thought the cloth brush was what's your favorite mode and, and just generally how much you like it because it's a super fun tool for me and I was glad I could do this general review over it to uh, bring the knowledge to all of you guys all like the 10 people watching this video how the cloth brush works and um, what it does so thank you guys so much for watching that was it I'll put my Instagram all that good stuff in the description and uh, yeah, everybody have a good day.